Valley researchers using worms to fight cattle fever ticks. Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez set off to find out how this biological technology can help local cattle ranchers. Texas has a $12 billion a year cattle industry, but the cattle fever tick, if there's enough of them, could devastate ranchers. Now a Valley researcher is looking at a new angle to combat this tick. Cindy Flores is a cattle rancher who's felt the pinch of cattle fever tick in her livestock. I have a small herd, I'm considered a small producer, and we are in a quarantine. Being under quarantine for the last two years hasn't been easy for her business. But we have had the constant quarantine down here uh, in the Rio Grande Valley, which is also extremely expensive. She says before this research, nothing was working to stop the cattle fever tick. We fight that fever tick from different aspects, and those aspects um, aren't working at this time. A new research angle could help her cattle get out of quarantine. Valley USDA scientist John Goolsby is hoping to combat the tick through Nilgai, a type of antelope, a secondary host and known problem through cattle ranchers. So the Nilgai, you know, come to latrines, common latrines every night, and that's kind of a, a gathering point. So that means we can put the Nilgai sprayer there and, you know, have a, a sensor on it that remotely activates. The sprayers aren't accompanied with just any solution. It has a live worm inside of it. The nematode, right, because it's, you know, non-toxic to mammals or birds. And it happens to be, you know, the one that's in commercial production worldwide originally came from the Rio Grande Valley. The nematode kills the tick and is used here because it is so heat resistant and it already occurs in our environment naturally. You know, using a harsh chemical or anything. Goolsby says the new research method is one of the many ways to help combat the deadly tick. Everybody wants to try to figure out a solution, you know, to, to eradicate the tick. He says getting rid of the cattle fever tick is critical. There's a critical need by the cattle fever tick eradication program. For now, Flores says her cattle will stay in quarantine. There are more than 30,000 Nilgai along the Rio Grande Valley in Cameron and Willacy County. Goolsby says these animals tend to pick up the tick and spread it out to different regions away from the U.S.-Mexico border. In the studio, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News.